So for today, we're going to be looking at the King's Fall armor. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the arms. We're going to be making sets for them. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So do me a favor, like, comment, sub really does help. And I appreciate y'all for doing so. And it also motivates me to make more content for you guys. So let's just get into it. So these are the arms we're going to be looking at specifically uh, for the Warlock. I am using an armor set that I used in this video. So just 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 pointing it out there because I just I think it looks amazing and I'm already using the arms for that. And instead of making a whole set with that, I just decided just to take that. So Warlocks, I apologize that you're not getting a new armor set, but uh, let's be real. That shit looks fire. So let's start off with the hunter. So for the helmet, we're using the Mask of Bacchus with the Beastly Visage ornament. Definitely really cool. Definitely going for that like obvious beastly look. <laughs> and for the arms, obviously we're using the King's Fall arms. I really like these arms since like D1. So I definitely wanted to make a set with them. For the chest piece, we're using the Apilos Falling Vest specifically because it has a bony look to it. You're li you literally have a rib cage on your chest piece uh, or at least yeah, it doesn't matter uh, for the boots. We're using the twisting echo strides because I actually do like them. My only gripe is I wish they were like Titans, which they all of it. All of it's pretty much just all armor. And for the hunters, there is armor, but a lot of the crotch and even some of the thigh on the right side is cloth, unfortunately. But this is going to be the better choice in this situation. And then for the cloak, we're using the steeplechase cloak because I like the fact that the horns at the top and even some of the uh, armor on the top of the head look really cool. And the cloak itself is super raggedy. And even the design on it looks super vexy to me or not vex, uh, hive to me, to me. So overall, I really like this set. I did tweak it a little bit more and this, I will make a video se separately to discuss how to actually make the King's Fall armor look good with certain armor sets because there are a lot of armor sets that you can dip into. Unfortunately, some of them are locked on just different things, but we'll get into that in the, in that separate video. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Let me know in the comments below. As for the Titans, we're using the Apilos following helm for the helmet, for the arms, obviously we're using the King's fall arms, but for the chest piece, we're using, we're actually using the Forian plate. The Forian armor set is a really good example of a set that, you can use that is not hive themed, but it does have organic like shapes to it, which makes it look hive themed. For the boots, we're using Dune Marcher specifically with, with the Husk Crushers ornament. I love these ornaments. The only thing that kind of pissed me off about it, and I did talk about it in my Dune Marchers video, which you guys can see right here. My only gripe with this ornament is the fact that the boots are just regular people boots instead of, you know, instead of pointy feet like specifically like this for from the de descending echo piece i think this would have been a lot better but instead we have husk and then people feet which is the dumbest shit in the world but i mean this is the world we live in for the mark we're actually using the descending echo mark because uh, i like the fact that it has like the hive carapace on the on the waist now the descending echo isn't hive themed it's actually uh thorn themed but i mean it's so close that no one not people are not gonna be like that's actually fucking thorn themed bro like it's not hive at all like no one's gonna do this so just use what you have and the descending echo stuff is really good on the titan specifically the boots if you wanted to switch out the boots with another piece uh kepri's horn would be a great choice i think that looks really good Another piece would most likely be like worm of worm. Another piece would probably be like worm god caress. You could probably make that work. Other than that, there's not a lot of pieces that the Titans have that will look good with it. Uh, and Teus Ward's another one that I think would look good, but just be aware that that's more rock than hive themed. So at the end of the day, you could just not wear an exotic. You can also do that too. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think this looks cool as fuck. Uh, I would probably switch out the arms for maybe, maybe the chest piece. The chest piece is really good. I really do like the chest piece and then, uh, probably switch out the, this is where it gets hard because I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, you can do a lot of things with this. 
so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below titans do you guys like this do you not do you guys not what would you guys actually do for this let me know in the comments below and last but not least warlocks i do apologize that you guys are getting another armor set from a previous video you guys aren't the first ones to, to have had this happen to you but in my defense does this shit not look baller as fuck like does this shit not look like you're about to go down the streets and just slay bro i'm telling you like this shit looks this shit slaps i would love to see this on a male warlock so for the helmet we're using astrocyte verse obviously one of the best helmets for warlocks for the arms we're using the grasp of ear ear or something like that i don't know how to say the name it's from king's fall <laughs> for the chest piece we're using the katoria long coat for the boots we're using the painted kintsune boots and then for the bond we're using the starfire's bond so i absolutely love this set i've i made this set for the fortnite armor specifically the boots if you guys haven't seen that video i'll have it right here but i really really like this armor set so much so that i'm actually gonna rock this on i'm gonna make this one of my main uh i don't know what exotic helmet i'm gonna use but i'm gonna use this look because it's so fucking cool uh so yeah not nothing much to say about this one because i did talk about it in the other video and if you guys want to see my full thoughts i'll have it right here the video at least but yeah let me know what you guys think again I appreciate you guys for coming up to this point in the video because not a lot of people do. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, it's again, links are in the description below. Uh, let me know what you what other content you guys would like to see. I'm currently working on some PVE stuff. I'm thinking about doing uh, flawless dungeons again because I haven't done them in a while. And overall, I just have so much content planned out that it's kind of ridiculous. So again, if you guys want to see a certain exotic video, let me know in the comments below, which I should have posted an exotic video already, but I don't know. I'm still going to be editing all these videos right now. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.